Welcome to Arabic Khatawat. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use an Arabic dictionary. Since we were introduced to the root system, Arabic dictionaries basically use the exact same system when it comes to looking up words. You find the root system in words, then, then you identify only three of them. Any additional sounds do not take part of the word. And then we have, for example, here the qabla, qabla. So when you see a word like this, it means that you got the qaf and you got the ba and you got the lam, but not necessarily the same short cases. So it could be qabl before time expression, or it could be a verb qabla. Or it could be qubla, another noun for kiss, qubla, qabila, accept. So there are many, many uh, words that you can derive from the exact same roots, like we learned in previous video. So here you will find the root, as I was saying. But before you get to qaf and ba and lam, you first find the letter, then you find the second, this is the first letter, then you find the second letter based on our alphabetical order. So you might see Qa and Alif. To get to this word, you have to look for Qa and B. So you will find the first sound, but the following sounds follow an order, an alphabetical order. When you find the root, it gives you all the other words that share the exact same root. And all the English translation, especially if you're using an Arabic and English dictionary. Um, certain dictionaries, you can just type in the root in there. So you go qabla. There is a search, uh, a search engine in the dictionary itself, especially if you're using electric uh, or um, online dictionaries, you can just type in the root and then it gives you all the other meanings. If you're using a paper base or um, a physical dictionary, you'll just have to flip through the pages and find the first letter and then the second letter and the third letter based on the order I just explained here. So here you have Qubul and they will give you the transliteration of the word. Qabul, see right here, there is Qa having Fatha and there is Qu having Dhamma. And you can tell just from the U and the A here. So the exact same word is pronounced um, in two ways. So to accept and it goes with prepositions. So you'll have the verb and you'll have the prepositions that go with it. Qabila. Uh, you could say qabila something, qabila al ard, like the example used in the previous video, or qabila bi al ard. You can also use the accepted with, or that's what it means be, but in here it just collocates with the verb accept. To receive kindly, qabila. Um, like here, he accepted the deal, so he received the deal kindly, or the the offer kindly. Qabila bil ard, qabila bil hadiyya. If someone is giving you a present, you would say, he accepted the present. Qabila bil hadiyya, qabila bil hadiyya. And then you have an, a set of other meanings. Dictionaries also, especially the physical ones, they would give you full sentences like these ones. And then they will also give you the transliteration of new words. So here, So they are giving you the, tra the transliteration, which is the pronunciation of new words. Looking at additional pages, exact same thing. So right here, that was the 
page before. This is the next page. And the dictionary I'm using here, I'll, I'll put the name of the dictionary in the comment section. That way you can see how to use the root system in finding new meanings. Again, here you have prepositions and SO, it means someone. And if you has S A, it's S T H, that means something. And different other meanings. Certain dictionaries, they follow a different uh, pattern, especially for language learners. What happens is they would introduce the verb and the verb is usually introduced in the past form and the present form. Then you will have the noun. So for this verb here, it means eta, eta, and here you have the transliteration. Eta is he came, eta, and then you have yeti. As you can see here, yeti, he comes, and then the noun, it, yan, it, yan. Some some endings you find it, yan, and, and again I don't want to go deep into the the tenuin form, but. El, usually you will have the definite article at the beginning and el it yan and then the tenuin it just refers to a whole different um, grammatical lesson and then they would give you examples right here as you can see ataytu fulan ala amrihi with the transliteration ataytu fulan ala amrihi I obeyed his orders or I agreed with the person's decision. So this chart, as I explained in the previous video, it will show you all the verb patterns. But when it comes to learning no words, the verb pattern is separate from the noun pattern. So if I'm going to find the pattern of Etienne, I know that eta, eta is the root, so I just look for the similar sounds, which is a, t, and then the alif. Then I will come up with the with the pattern of the noun. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments about this video, please don't hesitate to enter them in the comment section, and uh, you will see the the link to the dictionary in the comment section as well. Thank you for watching.